dear finance professionals and students welcome to podcast of fca deepak rao a practicing chartered accountant daily news and updates for 7th may 2024 India's three private telecom operators Reliance Jio, Bharti Airtel and Vodafone Idea are set to bid for a piece of 5G spectrum worth rupees 96317 crore in the next auction set to start on June 6th. The auction will cover airwaves in various bands with the government expected to make some selective buying. The auction is expected to be a muted affair with top telecom companies having sufficient 5G airwaves for their current needs. Indian oil refiner Reliance Industries has resubmitted a request to the US for authorization to import crude oil from Venezuela. allowing it to resume oil trade between the OPEC producer and Venezuela. French oil producer Morel and Prom has also been granted a license to conduct oil and gas operations in Venezuela for the next 2 years. The US did not renew a general license for Venezuela to export oil and fuel to its chosen markets in April, but some individual authorizations to foreign firms seeking to do oil business with Venezuela would be issued. Blackstone Group is in advanced talks to buy Adani Realities commercial real estate project Inspire BKC situated on the edge of Mumbai's bustling business district Bandra Kurla complex. The US based private equity major is expected to shell out between rupees 1800 to rupees 2000 crore for the new office tower with 8 lakh square feet of space. Microsoft has acquired 48 acres of land in Hyderabad for a deal worth around rupees 267 crore. The property, located about 40 kilometers from Hyderabad, is part of Microsoft's plans to expand its data center business. The acquisition adds to its existing network of three data center regions in India, which is Pune, Mumbai, and Chennai. Microsoft currently operates an India Development Center in Hyderabad which has been instrumental in the development of its technological offerings. The Securities and Exchange Board of India has returned the proposal by the National Stock Exchange for market time extension in the derivatives segment due to a lack of consensus among the broker community. RBI has revised the extant guidelines on issuance of irrevocable payment commitments or IPCs by banks in the light of T+1 settlement cycle. Accordingly, only those custodian banks will be permitted to issue IPCs which have a clause in the agreement with clients giving the banks an inalienable right over the securities for receiving a payout in settlement. This podcast is sponsored by Sound of CA. We share because we care. Vande Mataram, Jai Hind.